Good morning guys. My face looks horrible so I'm half in the camera. I just woke up. This is going to be a real realistic morning routine. Um, I'm about to get Naraya ready for homeschool. Okay, I'm sorry. Am I invading your privacy? Okay, so now I'm out of the shower. This is how I've been wearing my hair while it's straight. So it looks kind of crazy, but this is how I've been kind of like maintaining it. It's, yeah, yeah. I've been putting in a ponytail all week. And I would show you, I'm gonna show you like my growth a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna show since there's so many curls in my hair right now. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Been doing like my growth routine on my hair. I'm gonna gel my hair up with the Norris by Chante Angelic Cocoa Clear Course Jelly. And then I just take a little bit more of the Clear Course Jelly and I literally smooth everything out and put down a little bit of baby hairs. last step that I do is I put some oil on my hair. Hi, Naraya. Hello, Naraya. Hi. Are you okay with being on camera now? Yeah. I don't know why I chose today to have my uh, morning routine to share with you guys because this is actually a very, one of the, like this is the middle of the week, so this is when my week starts to get more busy. Stuff I have to do for Nourish. I have my favorite shirt on. Before I go to Target though, I am hungry, so I'm gonna make me some lunch. Okay guys, so this portion of this video is gonna be sponsored by HelloFresh. So we do have a sponsor today for this video. Super excited to be sharing this with you guys today because HelloFresh does offer so many recipes, especially if you're not a person who likes to cook or you're not a person who actually knows how to cook. And I like the fact that they also include healthier recipes. As you guys know, I'm a health nut, so I like to make sure that I'm picking up ingredients and recipes that are actually going to contribute to your health as well. So they do have all types of plans. Um, carb smart, vegetarian, pescatarian, lots of options that you can choose from. So if one week you want to be vegetarian, the next week you want to be pescatarian, you can choose different recipes based on how you're feeling for that week, which I absolutely love. So in order to get your box, all you have to do is go to HelloFresh's website and I will have it linked down below. And the best thing about this is I do have a promo code for you guys. So use my code ShantaysWay10 to get 10 free meals across your four boxes with HelloFresh. In order to take advantage of this, you just need to visit the link in my bio and click there for more details and you can actually get you a box for you and your family. I'm gonna have Naraya help me pick out the meals that she wants to choose to eat. I absolutely love the fact that they package everything so neatly and they give you your individual meals in each bag so you don't have to um, you know, worry about separating everything that's already individually separated for you. So Naraya wanted to do the barbecue pineapple flatbread, which I knew that she was gonna choose that one. I'm gonna go ahead and cook this one for lunch and the rest of these meals I'm going to put away in the refrigerator so that we can have them for later. So every recipe that they put into the box is packed with fresh produce, which is amazing. My favorite, it's sourced directly from farmers and they actually have the recipe that you want to do for this on the back. So I'm actually gonna follow the recipe. So I love that this is a fun recipe that you can actually do with your kids as well. You wanna, I'm gonna help Naraya cut up the ingredients. So these are five star recipes compared to other meal kits. I also love the fact that with HelloFresh, the produce does get to you a lot faster than the grocery store. So you do have your package that arrives at its peak freshness, which is great because that means that the flavor is still there. So while Naraya's getting the rest of the ingredients together, I'm gonna actually start to cook the onions. So we're gonna turn to the oven. 
So I just went ahead and put the onions into the pots, the skillet. Now, Naraya, can you bring me the pineapples? Because we have to put pineapples in here as well. So HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. They do make amazing seasonal recipes. They also pre-measure any ingredients and they deliver it right to your door. Which to me makes cooking a lot funner and easier and also affordable. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the pizza into the oven and allow it to cook. And then we finally can eat our lunch. So guys, this is the behind the scenes of cooking. It's always a mess. So now I have to like, try to like get all of this mess up. So the pieces are now complete and they look a little bit overdone, but this is the way that I like them because I don't like um, for my pizza to be too overly cheesy. Whereas Naraya likes a lot of cheese. So this one here is Naraya's. This one here is mine. Do you like it? This is Naraya's first time tasting barbecue pizza. I actually like barbecue pizza, so this is not my first time. Let me t let me try it. Could it need a little bit more cheese though? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I really like it. I feel like this would be really good with some hot sauce. So, well, you can put some hot sauce on. You can customize these meals. You don't have to do them like straight. You can customize them. Do whatever you want to. Um. It's a 10 to me. What's your rating? I'll give it a nine. Okay guys, so now that we're done with lunch and everything is up to speed, um, I'm gonna change back into comfy clothes because I was trying to like be more, you know, pres presentable for that clip, but I'm changing back into my more comfortable outfit. But before I wander around, I'm gonna have to go to Target, of course, like I mentioned. Now, I wanted to remind you guys to use my code SHANTAE10 so that you're able to get your 10 free meals across four HelloFresh boxes. So make sure that you visit the link down in the description box so that you're able to take advantage of that offer. It's an amazing offer. Okay, so I'm on my way to Target. And I'm gonna get a few things for the house. So, Naraya has told me that she does not wanna be on camera today. Um, she said that she would be on like a few parts, but she doesn't wanna be like full blown on camera. Um, Cause I was gonna show a little bit of her homeschooling routine, but I respect the fact that she doesn't wanna be on the camera because um, I don't know, like, my f my family and when i say like my family i mean like my daughter and my boyfriend as well we are very private people so mariah gets that from me um that sometimes she just doesn't want to be around people or she doesn't want to be like you know too out there and my boyfriend's like even more like that um and then of course you guys know that i'm like that as well i mean i do youtube and stuff but as you guys see i'm not i don't like put my life out there too much um and like you know you guys know me from watching me for some of you have watched me for years some of you are just clicking on this video and you don't know me but um you know that i don't like do a lot and that's just because that's not my thing and if you've been following me on my instagram then heck like <laughs> you definitely don't know much about me because i don't put much on my instagram uh, i think i'm gonna get a little bit better at putting stuff on instagram and no no shade to people who do who put their life out there that's you know that's your that's your business but 
I don't like that. Like, even if people like put their life out there and if they can put it out there to look the way that they want to want it to look, even if they're going through so much chaos behind closed doors. And I'm more like a genuine person, whereas you know my happy moments, I experience them, um, you know, in that moment. Sometimes I'll post them afterwards and tell a little bit about it, but most of the time you guys don't even know about a lot of happy moments. Um, New Year's, I went on this amazing trip. It was a work trip, but me and my boyfriend actually went because he helps me with my work sometimes. And I could have posted that like for on Instagram and like showed kind of like showed like my New Year's trip and stuff, but I didn't even post on my Instagram like on my I didn't post it on there and like. I posted a photo of me on New Year's, but it was very laid back. It was in front of a white wall. Nobody could tell anything. I'm just more like, I just think that it's more better to keep things kind of personal. Now, I do think that you should have a balance. Like, you, you can show, you know, your life. But to just, like, be out there showing you guys, like, literally every little living moment of my life, that is not my thing. I know that that gets the most, like, attention when people do that because, like, you know, people just want to know and stuff. But to me, it just seems, like, invasive a little bit to put too much of your life out there. Like, it's just, um, I think it's a personality thing. I don't know. Like, you guys let me know in the comment section. Like, are you a person who post everything or do you like to keep stuff private as well are you a person who has like a healthy balance i'm i don't keep you guys too far on the outskirts but i also don't let people go come and like intrude on every single thing that goes in my life good or bad like there's some people who overly share the good stuff to where it becomes like okay and then there's some people who overly share some people who overly share the bad stuff where you're just like oh my god this person <laughs> this person is extremely negative um and then there's some people who completely just put on a like a show and, and like with social media that's you have the the free will to do that like you can make your social media whatever you want it to look like if you want to look like you have a extremely personal perfect relationship on instagram you can but behind closed doors that relationship could be complete trash you we see it happen all the time where like people will have like uh i think this is more like you two couples they'll have like you'll see that you think they have like this perfect relationship and then after a while like stuff will start coming out and you're like oh my god like but they like for years they've been putting it out there that their relationship's like perfect so when you know that bubble gets burst and like their supporters see that they don't have the relationship that they thought they had that perception that they had of them it's just like you start to realize that a lot of people are just putting what they want out there and that's just the bottom line oh you kind of have to like use your intuition on who you want to like follow who you resonate with um and know that they have issues as well like i could put my relationship and stuff out there and i could like do all that but i guess it's just not really my style um like someone commented on one of my videos and they were like are you still with the same guy um, like yeah i'm still with the same guy i've been with him you know i've that we have a really really good relationship we're like best friends but she thought since i didn't i haven't posted him and it's been like years i guess she thought like we weren't gonna be together i don't even think i responded to that question i, I sometimes respond to um comments in my head though <laughs> but um yeah i was just like i wonder if she thinks because i haven't posted anything about him which i don't post anything about my boyfriend anyways that i don't like i'm not with him anymore and it's crazy that people think since you're not posting stuff on instagram or youtube um, YouTube is not as bad though. That's why I love YouTube because you can kind of like, you can be yourself on YouTube. Whereas Instagram is very much more aesthetic based. Um, but not all the time. I'm not saying all the time. Like when you're on Instagram and you have like these followers following you and you're following them back and they're following you back and they never comment on your post. They never like your post, but they're still following you. And it's like, and I thought about that. I'm like, that is weird. Like, why are you following someone on um, on instagram if they're if you're just like not gonna like any of their posts or you don't resonate with how they are as a person 
And I had to like check myself as well because I was like, well, I follow people that I don't no longer resonate with or that I don't comment. With that being said, I was like, you know what? I need to go and reevaluate who I'm following, who's following me, and I need to remove people who are not interacting with me or who I don't resonate with anymore. It's just, and it's not like a bad thing to where it has to be like, you know, hopefully the sun hasn't been blocking me out the whole time, but it's not a bad thing where it has to be like bad blood. I mean, if someone takes it that way, then that's kind of like their own. It's more so just like, what's the point of you following me if you don't, if you don't like anything or comment on anything? It's just, it's just weird. <laughs> I'm about to get into Car Target, pull out my list and see what I want to get. sort of healthy snacks at Target, so I'm gonna get some for Naraya. This has turned into a day in the life instead of a morning routine, so. <sighs> yeah, my morning was way too hectic, so. I'm trying out this lemonade. This is called the Rita's Real Lemonade, and it's supposed to be cold pressed, sweetened with honey. Okay, guys, so I am currently editing. Um, my morning routine, my day in general has been pretty um, busy which is very normal for okay so my camera died but what I was saying is I'm currently editing um, you guys are gonna see this video on my channel but I'm gonna end up you know day in the life vlog I guess slash morning routine here I hope you guys enjoy this video if you did please give it a thumbs up so i can know to create more content like this and i will see you guys in my next one bye